In this video, I'm taking on what just might be the cheapest seafood in Asia. This costs only 80 cents. I'm on a mission to eat as much seafood as I can for as few monies as I can. I'm the king. But where are we now? You're looking at a map of Cambodia, and right here, this is a city called Kep. And Kep is right next to the ocean. Not too far from here, tons of fishermen are going out each day to catch the best seafood these seas have to offer. And all that seafood heads right behind me, the famous Blue Crab Market. By the end of this video, we'll find out what a full day of eating seafood costs in one of Southeast Asia's cheapest seafood countries. Let's move. Nailed it. In a little while, I'm gonna give you a tour of the market, but first I wanna go immediately find a food for breakfast. And it better be something with fins or something that can breathe underwater. Deep within the market, we've come upon our first location right here with this lady. She has a huge variety of seafood, all of it grilled, all of it on these sticks right here. Now, I asked her, was all of this grilled fresh today? She said, most of it, not all of it though. This chicken from yesterday. Luckily, chickens aren't from the ocean. So today, I'm not interested. But I do like that the foot is attached. I have good news and bad news. This costs only 50 cents. The bad news, they're squid eggs. Yeah. Oh, wow. What the? That's an egg? I've never, I don't, you know, I don't watch that category of videos online. I've never seen two squids get it on. I don't know what happens in there. But apparently, this is part of the squid anatomy. Let's go for it. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Chewy. Chewy like squid. Is it eggy? No. It has a delicious oily flavor that she's put on here. It's a mixture of bean oil, garlic, and oyster sauce. Dude, look at this. She's got big ones here and then just little tiny. Is this little eggs? It looks like a pile of worms. It tastes good. You know what? If it tastes good, eat it. That's what I say. That's also what Andrew Zimmern said. So that is our first food, but very affordable. Now on to our next food. These are adorable. In Korea, they call them jukumi. These are not squid. These are little baby octopuses. This costs only 80 cents. Give it a bit of a rip. We've got some legs here. You just see them glistening with that oil. Cheers. Mm -hmm. The texture is that of delicious plastic. I like the flavor overall. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of charcoal, a lot of oil, and a very unique texture that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So far, we spent $1.30. This is only location one. We have a lot more to see. Let's keep moving. Kep is most known for one type of seafood that seems to have an unlimited supply. I'm talking about the blue crab. But if you're not into crabs, you could grab some fresh sugarcane juice, some leftover food from the day before, or seafood that will last months into the future. That, my friends, is dried shrimp, a beloved ingredient, something that can be used uh, in different dishes. I'm not gonna expand on that. Ooh, the smell in here, it's a bit wild. It smells of salty old dry seafood, which is basically what it is. It looks like somebody is archiving all of these squid. Look how flat and organized they seem. This is sweet squid. Can I taste it? Okay, I'm told I can by someone who doesn't work here and who doesn't own this. This is excellent. It's sweet, it's soft, it's tender. It's like jerky from the ocean, but even softer and more delicious. And then this is my other favorite thing about the dried food section. They basically almost make art out of these little fish. They slice them in half, they take out the backbones, they press them, and then they put some chili flakes in the center. Very artistic. You can hang it on your wall, you can hang it from your rear view mirror in your car. That'll make your car smell nice. Or what people like to do here, you can eat it. Boom, we've come to our second foodie location right there. That is Chef Ron. And right here, she's making something called raw crab salad. These crabs must have so much fiber. If you eat them whole, how do you eat such a dish? Let's find out. Okay, right now, she's digging in here. Oh, wow. She has a beautiful chest full of fresh ingredients. Chilies, I see vegetables. And she's just pulled out a big bag of crabs. And you can see they're still cold. That's a good sign. That's what we want. <laughs> That's what we want to see. Step one, spicy sauce. It's a combination of fish sauce, chilies, sugar, salt, and MSG. And here we throw in some cocaine too. Wait, no, what's that? Meth? Sugar. Ah, right here, some sugar. That is the MSG. She cleaves the limes, drips the lime juice into the pail. Even more lime juice. A startling amount of lime juice. She will not stop with the lime juice. It's basically a drink at this point. Now she gives it a little bit of a stir with her big old spoon here. Bless you. <laughs> right here we have what looks like sawtooth coriander. Toss some in this bowl and that is ready to eat. Let's go give it a try. I have absolutely no idea how to eat it. So pair. Pick it. Pick it up. Yeah, pick it all in. And you eat the whole thing? Yeah. 
<laughs> I just got the best tutorial ever. People here are literally eating and crunching on the full crab body. That's wild. Now, how much are you gonna pay for the privilege of breaking all your molders? Only $2.50. I'm gonna break the body in half. We got a claw and we got four legs and a hip. You gotta be careful, it's like eating toothpicks. Grind it down to a pulp, spit some of it out, and then, ah, that's crab salad. The flavors are good. It's that sweet, delicious fish sauce flavor with a load of spice and a little bit of coriander. And then the actual crab, it's soft, it's mushy, it's fatty, cause it's still raw. And then there's the texture. In this case, I would say the fewer appendages, the better. So let me try this. I'm gonna just take off the claws and take off all these legs. Let's try it out, just the body. That's it, that's the solution. It's like fatty, creamy, and delicious with just a little bit of crunch. So that is crab salad. We have a lot more to see. By the end of this video, we'll be seeing some much more substantial, large seafood. So let's keep moving. Run it up. Now we're touring the market a little bit more. There is so much to see here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can I pick it up? Oh, thank you. Take a look at this guy. This is called a bird fish. In English, it's known as a fly fish. What I love about the cooking preparation here is that everything is on a stick. There's kind of a similar way to cooking all the foods, but all of it is using delicious charcoal to imbue some wonderful flavors onto the food. Among all the bird fish and squid, there is this thing. This stands out a lot. This is just a half of a sea creature, but can you tell what it is? Take a close look. I'll give you one hint. Steve Irwin, it's my friends, it's a stingray. Stingrays are pretty popular here because you can see them in all shapes and sizes. There's kind of little ones like this and huge ones like this. The bigger they are, the more they're slicing them down to size. This, for example, is a filet from a giant stingray. There's two sections, one on the top, one on the bottom, and it is a very meaty, fatty piece of meat. I think I should get a big one and a little one in case the little one is completely disappointing. Let's buy both and see how much it costs. So before I eat it, she's gonna put it on the fire to give it a little bit of heat. She hits it with some garlic oil. Same thing is happening over here with this gentleman and that big old piece of stingray. Slathering it with a little bit of oil. And these are both ready to go. Let's start with this. This is the top. You can see these are the eyeballs and on the sides, that's what you wanna go for, the wings. That's pretty good. There's a decent amount of meat right here. Mm, that's delightful. It's so much better than it looks. It looks like a swimming bathroom mat and it tastes twice as good. As you peel, oh no, my arch nemesis. Guys, you know what that is? That's a stingray liver. This is the food that I told Joe Rogan was the worst thing I'd ever tried in my life. Or maybe it's poop. Either way, let's try it out. Oh, it's not bad. That's pretty good. It's a hair bitter. There's a little bit of bileiness to it. I gotta say, I've had Stingray a couple times since that one awful meal. I think that chef accidentally gave us spoiled or rancid Stingray liver. Cause since then, I kinda like it. So that there, $2, very reasonable. If you want something with more meat on its bones though, this guy right here, $5. I'm gonna peel off the skin and the meat, just layers and layers of succulent white meat. That's good. This is a little bit of a dip. This is very similar to what she put on that crab salad. Let's slather it up in there. Toss it back. Cheers. Mm -hmm. This sauce is undeniable. It's sweet, tangy, savory, spicy. It's everything you want in a seafood sauce. So we've spent maybe not even $10 and I've had 18 foods so far, roughly speaking, if you count each crab as a food. Now that we've had a lot of already cooked, already prepared seafood, let's check out some of the raw seafood that's available here for people to buy. This is probably the most prevalent seafood you will find in this market. As we move down, you will see tons and tons of containers of these. This, my friend, is the blue crab. Now, we are saving these for a different episode. I will not be eating this today. Bloop, add bloop sound effect. Bloop. These are blood cockles, and what's awesome is that if you touch it, it'll recede back within its shell. I also don't know why they put their tongue out. Maybe they cool down that way, like, you know, a husky. This is a mud crab. They don't need water to breathe, so they can survive for a long time in here. Oh my God, what happened to this one? We found the one-armed bandit. A little bit of foreshadowing. We'll be seeing these later, but not this one. This one's all deformed. Not only can you buy food and take it home, but you can buy it and have them cook it right here. That's what we're gonna be doing soon. This is what I'm talking about. One quarter of one stingray, and she's cutting it into stingray steaks, and that is destined for the grill. But who cares, we already saw stingray. Let's keep going with our tour. Alas, you have seen these already, but perhaps not of this size. These are some massive mud crabs, and we are about to cook these up in just one second. These are gonna get some local Khmer chili sauce. Plus, you can make it a meal by adding glass noodles. That is what we're doing next. After the crabs are weighed in, the total price for both comes out to $8. But turning these crabs into a meal will cost a bit more. We'll find out how much soon. But first, let's meet our chef. 
prepares the crabs by first freeing them from their crab cuffs. Hey guys, this guy just got pinched. Ah, if he started with that, he would have been bit. Next, the carapace is removed, which are set aside for later use. The inedible parts, like the gills and face, are discarded before the crab is halved. In a walk, our beachside chef starts with some red chilies, cooking oil, garlic, and green onions. Then two crabs worth of chunky crab meat are added in. He seasons it up with flavor enhancers like local black pepper, along with the iconic coastal Cambodian chili sauce, scooped from a mysterious, nondescript container. This gives the dish a radiant orange hue, protecting it from being hit by traffic at night. Finally, it's time for the glass noodles to head inside. These are gonna get tossed about and mixed in with that sauce. I see putting some green onions and onions inside to offer it a little bit of color. But how much did it cost us to turn live crabs into a delicious crab noodle dish? $3.90. So altogether, we're at $11.90 for this meal. And it comes with a drink. It does not come with a drink. This is sugar cane juice, and it costs only $1. And this is going to help cool me down from this rather spicy crab. You rip off this leg, slowly chisel away the hard shell, and reveal that succulent hip meat. Now take a look at that. That's a good bite. Oh, that's good. Right away, you get a hit of that pepper, compote pepper, a globally renowned pepper. Once you have it for the first time, you'll see why. The crab itself, it's succulent, it's sweet, it's soft. It's amazing that, I don't know what mud crabs eat, probably not mud, but they live in mud. They don't taste like mud. They taste like the opposite of mud. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I tell you guys something funny? I already ate this food and I already shot this whole scene and I already made all these jokes and all these reactions, but I forgot to record the audio and so we're doing it again. Can I tell you, eating it the second time, even better. Here's my reaction from the first time. And then here's my reaction that just happened. <laughs> even better. Let me tell you about these noodles. First of all, glass noodles are like a blank canvas on which to paint a world of flavor. What they've done here is they've used pepper, but they've also used this mysterious Cambodian chili sauce. It tastes like chili sauce. It tastes a little bit like ketchup. It tastes a little bit like MSG, salt, maybe a little bit of sugar. That's it. If you dig down beneath the noodles, you will unearth this amazing specimen right here. I call it a crab claw. Oh, yes, there we go. I'm gonna pull this side out. You can see the meat just a dangling. The shell is so thin, it's pretty easy to break, actually. It doesn't get much better than that, unless it was way bigger. Crab claw, 10 out of 10, would repeat, would eat again. From here, I'm gonna sit down and eat the rest of this meal, all of it, again. Here we've come to a unique preserved seafood area. This right here is a big mound of fermented shrimp. This is gonna have quite a smell to it. I'm gonna, ah, okay, I just. That's got some personality. You know what that smell is? It's a adolescent boy who doesn't realize that he should start wearing deodorant. This stuff is really good for flavoring foods. They will put it in soups and stews, anything that really needs a kick of some umami flavor. Kind of black. Oh. Wiping your face with it. And we're back. Now I don't have charcoal on my skin. Here we have a shrimp in a pickled form. This has been mixed with fish sauce, sugar, MSG. That man said that this will last for six months. Is that six months from now or from six months ago? That's the part I'm not sure about. This could be the last day for this shrimp. Oh, for being called a pickle, it's not sour. The flavor is almost kind of floral. It's very sweet. It doesn't even taste like shrimp. It tastes like some kind of a tropical fruit between a mango and an apple. That is a truly unique food. And I love the fact that this is a brilliant way to preserve shrimp for months. And what is the price for just one of these shrimp? The answer is free. No, no, don't, don't cut to him. He's shaking his head, yes. All right, guys. We're going through the market once more and take a look at this. Somebody is about to eat an absolute S ton of these blood cockles, but are we? No, let's keep moving. The market is really heating up right now. There's a lot of people here, a lot of food sitting out. Hello. We've got this right here. As you can see, these are the same crabs that we had in our crab salad. Instead of being raw and smothered in a salad, these are just fried whole. It's good, it's crunchy. The legs almost taste like french fries. And then the body's a little bit more meaty. I like that they have the crab salad. It's the kind of crab you eat after yoga class. And then they have this crab right here, the crab that you eat after leaving the bar. Let's talk about price. That's a lot of crab right there. $2.50, very affordable. My friends, we have come to our final location. This is not seafood, but it's a regional delicacy or dessert. It all starts with this. This is a special filling. This is a combination of sticky rice, coconut cream, coconut milk, sugar, and black sesame. That is going inside of this leaf. She closes it and that will soon be grilled. And the end product looks like this, at least on the outside. These are 25 cents each. And that actually looks pretty awesome. It's like a little pastry. 
Oh yeah, the sticky rice gives it a nice sticky bouncy texture. You can taste the coconut in there. The whole thing is toasty, it's starchy, it's sweet. It's a very nice dessert. This is the end of our seafood tour. I'm gonna contabulate everything we spent money on today and find out how much we spent on this massive seafood feast in one of the cheapest places to find seafood in the world. Let's go outside and find out the final result. Boom, the market is behind me. It's still jam packed and full of action and I am full of seafood, so I am finished for the day. But how much did I spend today in a day full of seafood eating? And by day, I mean a morning full. I spent $26.45. That's not bad. And honestly, I shared with my team too. In the end, was this one of the cheapest seafood markets in Asia? In fact, I think it was. Now, there are some drawbacks to being the cheapest though. Did they have a huge variety of seafoods? Not really, no. But that is because there are absolutely no seafoods being imported to this market. This is a very local, local market, and that's why the prices are so low. So there's about 10 different types of seafood that everybody has, and they're all hawking them. They're all doing their best to sell them, to offload them, to grill them up, and make them look delicious for you. If you ever come to Ket, this place is absolutely worth a visit. One, because it's stunning, the seafood is delicious, and they do a good job with what they have. Two, there's not much else to do in Ket. Anyways, that is it for this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. Awesome. Oh, man. It's so cool to get to eat all the foods twice. That was a delight. If I pretend to steal this, do you think someone will tackle me? If you love Indian food, then you're gonna love our new channel, Best Ever Food India. Subscribe now for weekly videos showcasing the most unique street food from around the country.